Blight and I, we're here with Tracy Morgan. You got a giant honor recently. You were honored uh, by the Friars Club as their icon, their icon award. This has been given out to people like Billy Crystal, Martin Scorsese, Robert De Niro, Tony Bennett, uh, quite a list. Yeah, man. Douglas Fairbanks Jr., we weren't even talking back then. Yeah. And I got one. I'm like, y'all sure y'all giving it to the right person? <laughs> Was so it they a... gave me a Friars Club. I'm the first black recipient to get this award. That's fantastic. What an honor. First black recipient. Think about that. You think about that, the first black recipient to receive an Icon Friars Club award. So we can look back on this and say, I am the first, like, Friars Club member to have a bigger <laughs> than Milton Berle. Oh. That is, that is what I'm gonna say when I look back on it. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> It's historic. Now, uh, <laughs> hey, um, I, I know there are a lot of people there to celebrate you, including um, our, our new mayor, uh, Mayor Adams, who, who tends to get out to events. Yeah, he was there, and uh, Giuliani was there, <laughs> and de Blasio, everybody was there, man. The mayor was there. I don't call him Mayor Adams, I call him Eric. You call him Mayor, That's okay. my boy, yeah, we went to high school together. You did, Where did how yeah, was that? I sold him lunch tickets. <laughs> you sold him lunch tickets? Especially t- then when it was fish and tater tots. <laughs> He loved tater tots and chocolate milk. <laughs> and you were you were kind enough to sell him your yeah, lunch tickets. Yeah, I love the mayor. <laughs> That's great. That's my guy. I'm very happy to hear that. Mm-hmm. You were. Um, I want to ask for this. Your daughter. Has, uh, has taken to the idea of doing stand-up. Yeah, that's my baby. She uh, just did in front of Radio City three jokes and told a story in front of 500 people at Radio City, and it was great. She did... writes my material now. She writes your material? Yeah. What does she got? She... Does she got anything you a like? A lot of good stuff. Like, the other day, she was playing with her cousin, uh-huh. and they were playing with the Tonka trucks, and her cousin accidentally hit her with a Tonka truck, and she made him pay her $20. <laughs> I said, you're a chip off the old block. <laughs> hey, uh, is it true? You know, we have Jabari Banks coming out. He's so great in, uh, uh, you know, in the new uh, Bel Air. playing. I the... like to talk about that. Okay, I don't like to talk about that. You don't like to talk nah, about... Nah, I could have got that role. Oh. They, yeah, I could have got that role. You they did a background check, too much porno. Oh, really? <laughs> I started in too much porno stuff. So it wasn't that you were too old for the part. It was just you failed the background check. Yeah, yeah. background check. That's such a bummer. I had the part! <laughs> you really, they, they gave you the cast and then they did the background check and they took it away. You, John Holmes, too much, no. <laughs> That's so heartbreaking, I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, why, uh, what's the title, No Disrespect? How'd you come up with the title for your show? Because I'm gonna say a lot of stuff on stage and I don't mean to disrespect anybody. Okay, so you like to get that out. There's a lot the... going on. Yeah, there is a lot Between going on. audience members and comedians on there. Yeah. There's a lot going on now. That's why I bring a baseball bat on stage. Okay. I got a Louisville slugger for you. <laughs> this is not attack Tracy Morgan on stage night. You've got a lot of, uh, you got a lot of shows in Texas. I think uh, four or five dates in Texas. Have you done stand-up in Texas before? Yeah, I've done it there, but this is on a different level, man. Because of the recent mass shooting there, man, I just wanted to go there and show some love to those people, man. That's really sweet. I love you, Texas. It was horrible. It was a horrible thing, and we were all traumatized by it. And I just want to have an opportunity to go there and show my love to those people. And I imagine uh, when people go and see Tracy Morgan, uh, the expectation is they're going to have a really good time. And I can't imagine you do anything but deliver. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being I love here, you, Tracy. Seth, you it's always that. an honor to have you here. You guys, that's Tracy Morgan for tickets and information about the No Disrespect Tour, which heads to Texas next month in July 21st through the 24th. Go to TracyMorgan.com. We'll be right back with Kabari Banks. 